Welcome to Countat. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at total material variance. We are continuing with our lessons on standard costing. Now, we've done other formulas on standard costing. You'll find the links to those lessons in the description below, specifically the material quantity variance and the material price variance, which are closely related to the total material variance. And you'll see how just now. But what did you say standard costs are? Well, we've mentioned this in many of our other videos. A standard cost is a predetermined target cost that provides a benchmark against which to measure actual performance. And when we look at variances, we say that the difference between the actual costs and standard cost is called the variance. The variance could either be favorable or unfavorable. And that is what you have to determine as you do your calculations. Now, with the total material variance, it is the difference between the actual quantity of material used at the actual price and the standard quantity of material allowed at the standard price. That's very important to note that. And you'll see how that works now with the help of a few examples as we also look at the formula. This is also the sum of material price variance and material quantity variance. When you get the answer for your material price variance and the answer for material quantity variance, the sum of the two will give you your total material variance. And what is the formula for the total material variance? Well, here it is. It's the standard quantity times the standard price and you minus the actual quantity times the actual price. So it's the standard quantity times the standard price. You get that answer and then you minus the actual quantity times the actual price. Or as we mentioned before, it's the material price variance plus the material quantity variance. So if it's unfavorable, you put it as a negative, And if it's favorable, you put it as a positive when you're punching them into your calculator. But we're going to go through some examples and see how we apply this formula here to do the total material variance. Now, what do we say about the variance or how do we analyze the variance? Well, if the actual quantity at actual price is less than the standard quantity at standard price, the variance is favorable. And why is it favorable? Because the amount that we spent, the amount that we used in our production is less than what we expected to use, which is a good thing. But if the actual quantity at actual price is more than the standard quantity at standard price, the variance is unfavorable. And why would that be? Like I mentioned, if you anticipated to use less material or to buy your material at a lower price than you actually did, then you spend more than you plan to spend. That is why the variance would be unfavorable. So let's take a look at some examples and see what we've been talking about. We are told in this example that the standard cost of material for malva pudding was 2 kg per unit at 7 rand per kg. And we are told that during the period 19,300 kg of material was purchased at 6 rand 50 per kg. We are also told that 6,200 units were produced using 11,160 kg of material. And we are asked to calculate the total material variance. Now, we'll use the formula that we just mentioned, but if you are asked to calculate both the material quantity variance and the material price variance, then you'll just sum the two as I mentioned before. But if you're just asked to calculate this one, you can also use this formula here. The standard quantity times the standard price minus the actual quantity times the actual price. Now here, when we're talking about quantity, we are talking about kgs. Or if you are dealing with liters, then you'll use liters. But in this case, it's kgs. We're talking about kgs and not the units. So that's where students usually make mistakes. They use the units instead of the kgs. And that's what we have to highlight. Now, what is the standard quantity here? Well, we're not given the standard quantity. So we'll have to calculate it. But we're given the standard price. The standard price is the 7 rand per kg. And then we have the actual quantity. The actual quantity, like I mentioned, it's not the 6,200 units, but it's the 11,160 kg. That's the actual quantity. And the actual price is the 6 rand 50 because we're told that during the period we purchased at 6 rand 50 per kg. Now let's get our standard quantity. How do you get your standard quantity? Well, here's the formula for that one. It's the actual units produced times the standard material quantity per unit. We also explained this formula when we looked at material quantity variance. So 
what do we have here as the actual units produced? Well, we produced 6,200 units. As it was said here, 6,200 units were produced. So that is the actual units produced. And then we multiply that by the standard material quantity per unit. What is that? Well, that is the number of kgs we anticipated to use. We're told here that the standard cost of material for malva pudding was 2 kg per unit at 7 rand per kg. So we anticipated to use 2 kg per unit. So we'll take the actual units produced, which is the 6,200, and multiply that by the standard material quantity per unit, which is the 2 kgs per unit. And it gives us an amount of 12,000. 400 kgs now we have our standard quantity and we have the rest of the elements in the formula so we'll just plug them in our standard quantity is now 12,400 kg we'll multiply that by the standard price of 7 rand and then we'll minus the actual quantity of 11,160 kg times the actual price of 6 rand 50 and we get an amount of 14,260 rand and it's favorable how do i know that it's favorable well the 12,400 times the 7 rand is a greater amount than the 11,160 times the 6 rand 50. Remember, if the actuals, if this one here is less than the standard, then we have a favorable variance, meaning we didn't spend as much as we thought we were going to spend or as much as the company plans to spend or allowed to spend. So we were able to save 14,260 rand for our total material variance that's taking into account our material quantity variance and our material price variance i hope it's making sense here let's look at one more example to gauge whether you understand what you've been doing in the first example here it is we have the second example and what i would encourage you to do here is to pause the video here and attempt to calculate the total material variance as we are asked here and then you can continue with the video and compare your answer to mine and see what you get so you can pause and go ahead and do it well i hope you have attempted to do the question so let's continue we're told here a standard quantity of 0 0.25 kg of material at a standard price of 3 rand per kg is allowed for the production of one unit of product d during the period 450 kg of material which was purchased at 2 rand 75 cents per kg was used to make 1500 units of product d calculate the total material variance and here's our formula once again our total material variance is our standard quantity. And what is our standard quantity in this case? Well, as you can see, we were not given the standard quantity, so we'll have to calculate it. But what is our standard price? Our standard price is 3 rand per kg. That was an easy one. We're told here that the standard price is 3 rand per kg. And we minus the actual quantity. What is our actual quantity here? Well, I hope you didn't make a mistake of using 1,500 units, but you used the 450. So that's our actual quantity, 450 kg. And then we we'll multiply that by the actual price of 2 rand 75 cents per kg. Now let's get our standard quantity. Remember the formula, it's the actual units produced times the standard material quantity per unit. How many units did we produce? We produce 1,500 units. And what is the standard material quantity per unit? Or what is the standard quantity that is allowed by the company? It's the 0 0.25 kg. That is how much you should have used for each unit. So once we have the two, we'll take the 1,500 times 0 0.25 kg, and it gives us an amount of 375 kg. Now that we have our standard quantity, we just multiply that by our standard price of 3 rand, and then we minus the actual quantity of 450 kg times the actual price of 2 rand 75 cents and it gives us an amount of 112 rand 50 cents and it's unfavorable why is it unfavorable well because our actuals were more than our standards meaning we used more money than we thought we were going to use or than we planned to use so we used 112 rand 50 cents more than we should have used according to our standards that is how you analyze this one here and what you can see we usually start with our standards before we do the actuals so that you know whenever you punch into your calculator if the answer is negative then you know that it's unfavorable automatically but if the answer is positive then you know that it's favorable because you used less than you should have but in this case we used more than we should have i hope it has made sense if you could use the same example and you calculate your material price variance and your material quantity variance and you sum the two it should give you the exact same answer of 112 rand 50 cents 
I hope this has made sense. I hope you have gained value from this lesson. And if you have, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. And we also offer one-on-one -on -one lessons to students. So if you'd be interested in getting one-on-one -on -one lessons at a reasonable rate, you'll find our information in the description below on how to get in touch with us and to book a session. Till next time. Cheers.